tell the colors of the rainbow, the alphabets of the rainbow, and the Bible verses of the rainbow. Very good. So, so are you ready? To, who drew that rainbow? Baby drew the rainbow. rainbow. Very nice. All seven colors, okay? Yeah. So let's start, honey Philip. V for V for Violet. I for I for Eagle. B for B for Blue. B for blue. <laughs> okay, it's B fine. For Children, are you ready to tell? As you're playing, just a quick break to tell the Bible verses of each letter in the rainbow. Yeah. yeah. Each alphabet. All right. So, V for? Verily, I say unto you. Louder. Unless you are born again, you shall not see the kingdom of God. Excellent. I? I keep it set. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Wow, beautiful. B. B. C. 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 Wow, it's amazing to hear you shout the verses of the Bible here and loud. Amazing. Then G. 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 Excellent. Then why? Why for yellow? Yes. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Come on, tell that again together loud. Why? Loud. Your, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I love it. Oh. Oh, for our Father. Good. Yeah. Then R. Yeah, R for us. Yes, the bus. Wonderful. Debbie, you learned one Bible verse with G. Give thanks. Can you tell that? Thanks to the Lord for He is good and His mercy endureth forever and His faithfulness to our generation. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful, you blessed one. Okay. Now, now, okay, just tell this and then you may play. Which are the two places in the Bible that you learnt rainbow comes? There are many places, but you learnt two of them. The first one comes in? Opa Noah. Opa Noah story. Opa means grandpa in German. Yeah, so grandpa Noah story. When? Opa is German. Yes, it's German. Yes, so when he came out of the ark, God put the rainbow in the clouds and said, He will not destroy the whole earth with floods. Yeah? And what do we then remember about God when we see the rainbow? God? God will keep His promise. Come on, repeat it together, all of you. God will keep His promise. God will keep His promises. Okay, which is the other place in the Bible which you learned the Around rainbow? Around the throne of God. Around the throne of God in? In heaven. That's in Revelation, yeah? yeah? So what do we remember then when we see a rainbow again? That we should build a throne for God because God wants it to be here on earth as it is in heaven. So how do we build a throne for God? With our praises. Do you remember the Bible verse? God is enthroned on the praises of His people. So when we praise Him, we build a throne for God. So again, two things we remember when we see the rainbow. One is about God, that He will keep His promises. The other one is our responsibility. God tells, okay, I have a rainbow around my throne in heaven. I want it to be here on earth just like that. So when we see the rainbow, we remember we should build a throne for God. And again, how do we do that? With our praises unto Him. Wonderful. Okay, go ahead and continue playing. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. You heard on. my kids talk about the rainbow. My kids love the rainbow and they're having a nice time here in the play area. So, <laughs> I'm just taking this opportunity to record this rather quickly. So, 
You know, the rainbow, when it first appeared, was in the story of Noah. When God brought the rainbow and he called it his rainbow, he said, I'm going to place my rainbow in the sky so that when you see that, you will remember that I keep my covenant and will not forget what I've promised to my people. So a rainbow always reminds us of the faithfulness of our Father in heaven. That's the first thing. But you know, there are many other places in the Bible. The rainbow appears. One other place is in the book of Revelation. How interesting is that? The very first book and the last book have a rainbow. <laughs> in Revelation chapter 4, John has this vision of heaven. And around the throne of God, there is a rainbow. There it appears again. And why is that important? Because when God calls rainbow his bow, then he is trying to communicate his attributes, his heart, through natural things. That's what the Bible says in Romans chapter 1 and verse 20. It says, God uses natural things that we can see and experience on earth to communicate and help us understand and comprehend his invisible attributes. Yes, that's right. You can read that, Romans chapter 1 and verse 20. So when you look at the, the other rainbow in Revelation chapter 4, it's around the throne of God. So each time a rainbow appears here, yes, it happens by a physical phenomenon which God ordained. Light from the sun, white light hits raindrops, you know, the water particles, and it splits into the seven color spectrum. And you have the rainbow. But what, what, what we need to also understand is around the throne of God when you have a rainbow, if that's how it is in heaven, and here on earth, right up in the sky, God opens our eyes to see the rainbow through a physical phenomenon, what's missing is his throne. Well, the good news is that's God inviting us, saying, well, here's the rainbow. You need to now enthrone me and get my throne in the place where I've kept you in our area of influence here on earth. Well, the Bible says in Psalm 22, 3, God is enthroned on the praises of his people. So that is God inviting us to say, come on, you are people of praise unto me. Lift up my name and build a throne for me so that my kingdom will be established and further increased in your areas of influence here on earth as it is in heaven. So, let this encourage you. God is faithful. That's the first thing we remember when we see the rainbow. He's faithful to his promises. Regardless of the circumstances, he is faithful. The next thing, he invites us to be people of praise, regardless of circumstances. When we see the rainbow, let it remind us to be people of praise, just not at, where, at the time when we see a rainbow, but that we have a lifestyle of praise unto God. So, the Bible says, Jesus is called the Lion of the tribe of Judah. What does Judah mean? Praise! We are the tribe of Jesus and a tribe of praise. The tribe of Jesus is the tribe of Judah. He's the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So we are his tribe. So we are called to be people of praise regardless of circumstances. A lifestyle of praise. How amazing is that? A rainbow reminds us of God's faithfulness, which is independent of our circumstances. It is who He is. So don't get discouraged with the circumstances. He is faithful. What should you do? Accept His invitation to be a people of praise, regardless of circumstances, to build up His throne so that we can bring His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. I hope this was a blessing. So lift up a throne up to Jesus because you are the tribe of praise unto Jesus. I hope this was a blessing. Every time you see a rainbow, remind your children and let this remind you, Jesus is faithful and he invites you to be a tribe of praise in all circumstances. God bless you.